get the right answer to really important questions like this one. And so uh, we walked through what are, what are four steps here, uh, or five steps really. The first of which is we, uh, and we've already talked with a number of folks now at the municipality and other inputters, but we want to have a clear sense of purpose. So we don't know what the purpose is, and we haven't all agreed what our purpose is. It becomes very difficult to understand whether we've achieved it or not. So we are, we are in the process of helping to write what we call a project mission statement so that it is clear to everybody and objectively clear that we've all agreed that for this to be successful for the residents, current youth, future youth, this project has to be able to do this, this, and this. Okay, so we're gonna talk about a draft of that here in a little bit. So, so mission is number one. And then as we go down the road, and maybe we have a community design meeting later on when there's something to look at from a design perspective, we're gonna talk about the mission again. And when you look at the design, hopefully you're gonna look at it and you're gonna say, yeah, that helps it meet the mission, that helps it meet the mission. Oh wait, they forgot something. And you know, you can red flag us, and we'll red flag each other to make sure something doesn't get lost once we get into the details. So we like to start with that big picture. The second thing that you do, uh, that we do, is we are documenting, and this, this meeting tonight is really part of phases two and three, but we're gathering intelligence, and other the rules of the road, the things out there that if we don't pay attention to might become stumbling blocks, the opportunities out there that if we don't realize them, we can't take maximum benefit. They go from funding, the climate of the municipality, location of potential sites, how we can best take advantage of those, and so on. And, and also it tells about what you all think is important versus what we think is important versus what our diverse crowd that we're going to look how diverse our group is. The third thing, and this is arguably the most important thing, it's called program definition. Um, in architectural parlance, the program is the things that are going to go on inside the building, and therefore the building must be designed in order to accommodate them. So most of what we're going to talk about tonight is your thoughts on what programming should be for the building, so that when we get to the point where we're designing the building, we make it future-proof. We want it to be able to work today, we want it to be able to evolve with the community and the needs so that it continues to be relevant, um, to use and not be static where well, it worked in 2018, but by 2024 we all scratched our heads and wondered why we did it. Um, so we're going to hear a lot about that from you. And then once we have built this foundation of mission, understanding of constraints and variables, and then documentation of the program, then we are going to do what hopefully we do best, um, which is design a solution that fits the site, fits the community, that fulfills the mission, reconciles the constraints that we find, I like that right, um, and meets the programmatic need. And again, you will also have the opportunity to judge that should it won't be just us telling you or the township just telling you, we will present the design, we'll talk about it, and you'll be able to say, hey, I don't think that meets this need, and we will, we will adjust the design, and we will really make it reflective. We want it to be yours. We love it for the most part. If after we go away, you forgot we were here, and you're like, this is our youth 